got uh, Herc and Shaka here with me on what is the last day from our Los Angeles mm. studios. I know, Shaka, you are particularly uh, broken up about that. <laughs> we will, of course, discuss what happened in the pregame at Hard Rock Stadium ahead of the final between Argentina and Colombia. But let's start with the match itself. Of course, uh, won by Argentina, one nothing in extra time, thanks to a goal from Lautaro Martinez in the 112th minute. Lionel Messi claiming yet another Copa America trophy, but he didn't finish the match, subbed off in the 65th minute and had to watch as uh, Argentina eventually won it in extra time. James Rodriguez, despite the fact that uh, Colombia lost, is uh, named best player of the Copa America. Argentina, 16th Copa America title, more than any other country. All right, for more on this, uh, let's call on Alexis Nunes, who was... Uh, at the game last night and joins us now live. Uh, Alexis, take us back to the moment when Messi is subbed out, 65th minute, and what was the reaction from everybody in the stadium? Well, to be honest, everyone just kind of celebrated because 90% of that stadium was Colombia fans, I would say. I was sat beside a lot of the Colombian journalists, and they thought, oof, this is it. This is a chance. You know, as Herc said, this is the biggest game changer in the world, easily. Um, Lionel Messi, when you see him coming off, and the way Colombia were going at that point, the fact that it was still a deadlock, a lot of people were actually quite happy to, to see him off from the Colombia side. Of course, Argentina were quite uh, distraught about it, but still, I think all Argentina fans and the players and anyone that follows the Albi Celeste know that this team is so much more than Lionel Messi. Of course, he's a massive part of it, and of course, his influence on it says a lot. But they have been preparing for life without Leo Messi for quite a while now, for a couple of years now. He is getting on in age. We did see the injuries that he had, um, especially in this Copa America. And then the fact that you can bring on someone like Lautaro Martinez, who has come in so clutch for Argentina in this Copa America off of the bench, just shows you the depth they have, the mentality they have, that Leo Messi wasn't the be-all end-all of this team so again a really scary moment especially for Inter Miami fans considering we are in Miami but in the end I think a lot of people still had confidence that they would get the job done and that's exactly what they did. Lautaro Martinez to Alexis's point mostly off the bench with five goals he ends up as the top scorer um, on last night's show Ale made the point that Argentina were actually better without Messi you agree with that? I do. I think that's the moment this game changes uh, for various reasons. Messi gets hurt about the 34th, 35th minute around there. You can see his plant foot, that right ankle, turns in inwards, and it's an ugly scene. Uh, he's immediately in pain. He battles it out. He comes onto the field, but it's too much pain for him. He has to bow out. And the moment he comes out, this Argentina team gets better. Nico Gonzalez comes in. They're immediately more active. They're immediately on the front foot. They have opportunities to goal. Uh, and then Scaloni takes over with the changes he makes. And, excuse me, Nestor Lorenzo does not make. Scaloni, if you think about what he did in this game, all the subs that he came, brought on, Nico Gonzalez, uh, Paredes, uh, Lo Celso, Lautauro Martinez, they all have a hand in helping this team win. The aforementioned three actually play a hand in the goal they score. They were a different team with Messi on the field and a different team when Messi came off, a much more active team going forward. Where did Argentina win this one, Shaka? Um, I, 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 thought, I thought it was more, more to the point that Colombia lost it. I, I don't think Argentina were great throughout the tournament. And, and while we're talking about them as, as, as champions, um, they never hit the strides, the heights that we saw two years ago or three years ago in the previous edition of, of, of the Copa America. And, and I question Colombia's own um, performance, attitude, thinking in, in, in this final. Herc spoke about Nestor Lorenzo's um, failure to make any substitutions up until the 89th minute. And I felt so much of, of the game, it felt as though uh, Colombia were playing with the handbrake on, that they were more afraid of Argentina than what we'd seen from them in, in previous rounds, including against Uruguay going out and winning. Now, saying that, um, Alex McAllister had a challenge on, on Cordoba at, at nil nil that quite easily could have could have uh, seen a, a penalty being been awarded to and Colombia a uh, and a second yellow, which I don't think anybody would have would have argued about had that been given. That's probably another conversation about the refereeing and and the differences between South American and maybe European referees and, and how they how they manage the game. Um, but that being said, that one instant aside, I. I remember Debo Martinez making a save in the first half, 
but I can't remember him having to do much more than... He actually had four or five saves in the well, first half, but, yeah, but, but, let, but let's be honest. Saves. For yeah. one of those, I, I, remember, I, I remember well. The yeah, others, I, I feel pretty confident I could have dealt with now. Well, to your point, that's Colombia missing those opportunities. The first one was a James Rodriguez free kick that hits Cordoba mm. straight in the face. He's in the six, hits him straight in the face, and he can't redirect it into goal. A clean look. The second one is Cordoba... Um, who redirects to Davison Sanchez in the second half, mm -hmm. and Davison Sanchez can't put that on goal, all with Messi still on the field. They don't capitalize. Messi gets off the field. Argentina gets better. To your point, they never really let go of that handbrake. Argentina takes over. We know it's the end for Di Maria. You think it's the end for Messi, too? Um, I, I think, as we, as we sit right now, I think yes. It had you asked me this 24 hours ago, I, I, my, my answer had been totally different. Mm -hmm. I just felt that that reaction on the bench, post-injury, was a little bit telling. As, as, as players, we've all been injured. You, we've all had to come out of games, big games, when, when, when there's been a lot on the line. And that reaction from Lionel Messi just kind of... It, it felt like a lot more than somebody having to come out at a moment that, that he didn't want to. It, it felt almost as though he was recognizing that, yeah, it's, it, it may be time. And, and um, so, as I say, maybe things will happen from, from here that he changes his mind. We saw post-2016 a similar reaction after the penalty shootout and he announced his retirement, which, of course, he retracted. Um, but just given the reaction that we saw this time around, I, again, it, it has me feeling that he's in that same headspace that we saw in 2016. Quickly, you agree? Yeah, we've seen him play injured in Major League Soccer games for Inter Miami. He never wants to come out of the game. Those tears to me are tears of somebody who thinks it's being taken away from him, not on his terms. Uh, like you said, Shaq, I think it's very telling.